All right, so let's get used to this exponential notation. So let's say we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. We can rewrite that as 5 to the power of 4 because we're multiplying 5 by itself 4 times. That's 5 to the power of 4. So this 5 is known as the base, and the 4 is known as the exponent. So that's what exponential notation is all about. It's a shorthand way of writing a string of multiplying. So let's say we have 2x times 2x times 2x. Well, that would be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the third power. We also have x times x times x, which is x to the third power. So we can write that as 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8x to the third power. Like that would be the, uh, the best way to write that. Now, with the negative signs, if we have negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, let's think about this now. So 3 times 3 times 3 would be 3 to the third power. And then x times x times x is x to the third power. But we got negative times a negative, which is a positive times a negative, so we're going to attach a negative to that. And 3 times 3 times 3 would actually be, I'm going to write it below here, would actually be 27, negative 27, x to the third. Now, if we have an even number of negative signs, like negative 6 times negative 6, that's a positive times a negative is a, pos is a negative times a negative is a positive. So all the negative signs cancel out, and we just get 6 to the fourth power for this one. And I'm, that's going to be 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, but I'm just going to leave it like that. So that gives you an idea of how to uh, write things in exponential form.